how are you all? Heidi from World of Mummy. Now I'm putting in a really super duper quick um, live post for you guys tonight because it's date night again. It's Thursday and I'm not supposed to be on my device but Trav's not home yet and a friend said to me today how do you do the porridge in the slow cooker overnight so it's delicious for the next day that I put on my Instagram the other day. So I thought I'd show you. I'm going to get it ready really quickly, show you how to do it because it's super duper easy and then you can do it as well. So oh, just before I do that, um, I put out the other day that I'm actually going to bring out a slow cooker book, a free book for mums um, to just... Use your slow cooker. I don't know if you've got one. Now, mine's not fancy. I'll show you it in the middle in a minute. I had a really fancy one, a nice one, and I dropped it. it happens, and it broke, and so I didn't want to spend the money again. So I just bought one at I think it was Kmart, like thirty dollars. It's probably could be a little bit bigger for legs of lamb and stuff like that, but you know what? It does the trick. So it's all good. So the other day I put out a thing saying if you've got a slow cooker and if you cook. Um, things that your family loves, can you please, please, please email me the recipe, Heidi at wellnessmummy.com, so that I can include it in the book because this time of the year, it's cold here, it's really cold today in Melbourne, um, and the kids are going to have a fight, great. Um, it's really cold in Melbourne, and the slow cooker really does save my life in winter, just like salads and fruit salads and things like that do in summer. You can buy cheaper cuts of meat, you can chuck them in. I'm not a person who browns things or adds flour and tosses. Yeah, chuck it all in, put the lid on, and be done with it. So this is how I make porridge. So if you've got a slow cooker and you've got milk and you've got oats and you've got water, you can just make this for brekkie tomorrow. Okay, I'll show you it. I'm just going to turn this around. Okay, so here's my slow cooker. Um, it's, as I said, pretty cheap one that's inside it. Now what I've done, I've chopped up some dates, just some um, medjool dates, and I've chopped an apple. I will put the whole thing in. I've got a happy chopper. <laughs> pretty cool. A friend told me about it. Anyway, you just pull this thing, and it chops up the apple really quickly, which I love. Now what I'm going to do, all you need to do, I've got some rolled oats. Don't use the um, quick oats because they're processed and all the goodness is taken out. Tea. Shh, just for a sec, please, babies. Okay, so I've got rolled oats. This is actually really interesting to do. Bear with me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three cups of rolled oats. It's really weird. I'll try my best to... Phoebe, could you come and help Mummy hold the camera for a minute, please, sweet? All right, Tilly, whoever. Yeah, so just pop it here. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And then it is. Okay, now we're going to fight over it. That's great. Okay, so just show what I'm doing. So I've got three cups of rolled oats. Mummy's awesome, everyone. Shh, Tilly. Okay, now I'm popping it in the slow cooker, and then I'm going to put three cups of milk. Um, just got any milk. And I may not have enough milk because... I forgot to buy milk today, which happens. So I'm going to put as much. Oh, I think we're just going to scrape in. So I've got three cups of milk. Oh, look at that. Meant to be. And then, sorry, Till, can I just get... And then I'm going to pop a cup of water. It's amazing. It's amazing. Into the slow cooker. Thank you for your help, Tilly. So there you go. I've got three cups of oats, not quick oats, rolled oats. And I've got... Two cups of water, I mean one cup of water and three cups of milk. Tilly, don't eat the dates. But the dates are awesome. Don't eat the dates, man. Tilly's eating the dates. Okay, I'm going to throw in a handful of dates they make me there. Hot. And then I'm going to chuck in the apple. And I should have got this out before I did this video. But what I am going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. I'm going to give it a stir and quite honestly... That is it. You can put a pinch of salt in there. The recipe that I originally started to um, do had salt, but yeah, I don't have salt. Okay, I'm turning back around. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to put the lid on when I go to bed tonight because I'm not doing it later because I'd get in trouble. Hi, Amy. Hi, Catherine. Thank you for coming. Um, hold on, Tilly. I'll get you the dates in a minute. Oh, kids, tell you what. Um, I'm going to put the lid on, I'm going to turn it on low, and it's going to cook overnight. And then tomorrow, usually I serve it with some uh, berries, frozen berries probably, because the kids ate all the strawberries today. Chuck some berries, chuck some pumpkin seeds, and a little bit of honey on top. Delicious. 
really good for you. And if there's any leftover, keeps in the fridge, heat it up for after school snacks. So that's how you cook slow cooker porridge. Um, Tilly, it's on me, not you. Tilly's on the other side of the camera. Oh. <laughs> that's how you cook slow cooker porridge. You chuck it all in, you put the lid in. And as I said, if you do have a um, slow cooker recipe or your mum or your grandma or someone, slow cooking is amazing in winter, please email me the recipe so that I can include it in the book and your name will go in there too and it'll be free to all mums. So that's actually coming out probably towards the end of next week. Now next week what I'm going to do as well is each night I'm going to do a... Um, we'll let you know if this would be good actually because maybe it won't be good to do but next week I'm going to do a post each day showing you what I'm setting up for the next night so next week we are going to have slow cooker night every night just so that I can test out Oh, Tilly. Just, I didn't know she had a tomato in her face. Just so that I can test out all the recipes that I've been given so that I know that, you know, the kids will get the kids to rate them, tell us they're good. I'm sure they will be. Um, and test them out before we put the book together and get the book out there. I've got to go because Trav will be home soon and there's no devices on Thursday for date night. So have the best night ever. Don't forget, if you've got a recipe, Heidi at wellnessmummy.com and let me know if you make overnight oats. Have the best night. Cheers. See ya. Woo!